For wildlife watchers in Wyoming, springtime is the best opportunity to observe Wyoming's native sage grouse on their leks or breeding areas. From late March through early May, males are competing for mates. They crowd up the lek and dazzle the females who visit the lek with some flashy strutting. They do this year after year, usually at the same place, and they've done that over dozens of generations. Sage grouse leks can attract as many as 200 males, with the more dominant males usually taking up the space in the center of the lek. The hens camouflage themselves more to help them stay hidden while nesting. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department encourages folks to get outdoors and see this event for themselves. But some ethics are expected. Wildlife watchers should get up early enough to arrive at a lek right at sunrise and make sure that they keep enough distance between the lek to avoid stressing the hens. Stay in your car and leave your dogs at home. Observe the birds from a distance at least 80 yards, so that means bringing a spotting scope or binoculars. The Game and Fish has added a sage grouse viewing guide on its website. Now, this guide provides a lot of the same tips that we've already discussed, but it also includes a downloadable map of some of the more popular leks around the state of Wyoming. Sage grouse hens are highly sensitive, so if there's a lot of human presence on or around a lek during breeding season, well, the hens may not even bother showing up. Don't make any loud noises or sudden movements. Also, postpone your visit to a lek if the roads out to it are muddy. After breeding, the hens go off and lay between seven to eight eggs in a scrape on the ground, and that's usually near some protective cover like sagebrush. They'll incubate those eggs for about a month. Late April is the best time to visit because most breeding is complete, but the males still can't resist showing off their moves. If you enjoy watching wildlife, consider a visit to a sage-grouse lek in your region. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.